What's up guys, Tony here and I'm going to teach you how to render your videos in Sony Vegas so that you can send your videos to your families, upload them to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, whatever want, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, so rendering, what rendering is, is uh, basically, I guess you can call it exporting your video, but they use a different term. It's called rendering and what that means is just... Um, making your video a whole piece and making it one whole video, an actual video file with an actual video format container, I guess you can call it. So, um, let's get started. So, once you have your video all edited up, and if you don't know how to edit video in Sony Vegas, you can click right here. And that video will teach you how to edit in Sony Vegas. Okay, so um, now when rendering, before you always render, you always want to make sure that you play your video and that everything is fine. So let's go ahead and play this video. <laughs> that was very glitchy because once again my preview quality was on full so let me turn that all the way go to draft and turn it down to auto so that I can actually see it and it won't be so glitchy so let me play that video that's better okay that, that was better and I have a lot of stuff going on with computers right now, so that could be affecting why, or that may be why it's, you know, a little bit laggy. So, um, that, that looked pretty good, so that is what I want my video to be. Once you have that set in stone, guys, all you, or guys and girls, all you want to do is uh, double click, and you'll see this loop come up, and like I said, this is your loop playback thing that you can use and you want to make the loop around your whole all your footage and audio like so so if I zoom out you'll see it's everything and you want to go to file and render as and you'll see this box up here on your window and you want to your file name uh, name it whatever you want and you want to save it to your desktop or wherever you prefer and here where it says save as type um, if you want to go ahead and choose Windows Media Video V11 WMV that is a format that I use and it really is probably the best that I use um, or you can choose QuickTime or MPEG 1 or 2 or image sequence but I prefer to stick with WMV because most uh, because YouTube supports that very well and um, very it's very smooth as well and I think it renders the best so um, right here where you can see where your check uh, where you see these check boxes you wanna hit render loop region only and that's going to make it so it renders everything that's in this loop which is why we made the loop in the first place and that's all you really need to check you can hit save project markers and media file if you have project markers so um go ahead and hit custom and this is where we're going to make our HD or our, our high quality settings and this is where you would do that so go to audio the audio tab right here and hit include audio and remember if you don't do that then your audio will not play once your video is finished so hit include audio and where it says mode make it on CBR and the format needs to be Windows Media Audio 9.2 and the attributes 64 kbps uh, comma 48k HZ stereo a slash V CBR that's good right there and go to video and this is very important right here so 
where it says mode once again hit CVR and where it's the format Windows Media Video 9 that's what you want that's what you want and where it says image size you want to go down to high definition 1280 by 720 and that will make your video in high definition or if you don't want that you can go ahead and choose anything else you prefer and where your frame rate is uh, make it to 30 and you'll, your pixel aspect ratio, ratio make it to 1.0 and make sure it's on square and seconds per keyframe should be at 1 and where it says video smoothness uh, scroll it down to or scroll it up to 100 to its sharpest uh, if you don't have to mess with the bit rate just make sure internet lawn 5m and don't mess with any of this stuff and make sure you use project settings for video render quality and stereoscopic 3d mode this is if you have Sony Vegas Pro 10 or higher and this is basically for 3d settings but we are not working with 3d anything and once you have all that you can save this as a your template for an HD YouTube template or, or something you can uh, save this preset or you can make this these settings a preset so you don't have to do this over and over again every time you render so you can hit the save button and or first type your type it in and then hit the save button right here and I already have all that so you don't have to do that and you'll see right here that your template is whatever you named it uh, make sure you know where you're saving it to. to. Uh, my voice is really squeaky today. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's weird. So uh, make sure you know where you're saving it to. And once you have all that, make sure you look at everything. It's all good. And go ahead and hit save. And then you'll see this box appear. And this is your rendering. Uh, it tells you all your how much time is left and such and since you're rendering in HD it takes a little bit longer um, for longer videos obviously and you can see the video as it renders up here which is a pretty cool thing because I like to know where I am at on the video so I have about 1 minute and 38 seconds and I don't think I'm gonna wait that long so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that and basically what happens is um, once it's done it'll tell you 100% done and you could go to where that video is and double click on it play it and it should play it perfectly HD on your computer and when you upload it to YouTube Facebook Twitter or whatever uh, it'll play HD for your viewers as well so that is how you render in Sony Vegas I hope this tutorial helped please comment rate like and subscribe and if you have any questions or comments you can personal message me here on youtube.com and you can also email me at the film guy one at yahoo.com once again I hope this video helped and thank you I'm the film guy one and I'm signing out